الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ایو لحبت فی اللہ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سیس بی کتابی الکریم و ما خلقت والجن والانسی للی عبدون I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Letting us know that that's our divine purpose. That's why we were created. And that's why we keep Tawheed, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the forefront of our lives. We pray the five daily prayers, the salawat al-khams. We fast the holy month of Ramadan. We try to make the hajj if we're able to do so. We pay the zakat. And we do all the acts of ibadah. We strive our best to do those things and live our lives in accordance with the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that's the da'wah or the call of all the NBA, all the, the prophets alayhim after salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulin in ni'budu allaha wa jtanibu ta'gud. That we sent to every nation a messenger to worship calling to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and avoid a ta'gut those things worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that lets us know that the asal of tawheed is calling to Allah and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's the asal of da'wah that's the da'wah of ahl sunnah with jama'ah so never become distracted or discouraged when you hear those people who belittle Aqidah who say that those are just wasted discussions about where Allah is or it's okay if some some of the Muslims say Allah is everywhere and some of the Muslims say Allah is above his throne and some of the Muslims say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, does not possess those divine attributes as he says in the Quran so those people who belittle Aqidah in fact don't understand Aqidah that shows that there's a naqs in their Aqidah when someone belittles the call to Tawheed and says that those discussions are a waste of time that what takes precedence for us is social issues and social problems and global issues Naam, global issues and all those other things are problems and those are things we should be concerned about whether it be how we live our lives in the various communities we live in if we live in a Muslim community or we live in a non-Muslim community how we operate and how we function in our daily lives matter in those communities but to be little and to go away from that usul, the usul of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, which is calling into the Tawheed, calling into the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to what all the NBA, that's how they reform their communities. That's the beginning and the end of reform. Is the beginning is calling the people to Tawheed. And the ending is that the society is reformed by that call. So that's why it's imperative to never be distracted about the goal and never cease to seek knowledge never cease to seek ilm because as the ulama the early generations used to say talib al-ilm talib al-jannah that seeking knowledge is seeking paradise because that's seeking to come closer to Allah to understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us وَأَعْذَمْ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ يَتَوْحِيدٍ and the greatest thing that Allah commanded us with is Tawheed, is, is worshipping Him and Him alone. And the various categories of Tawheed as we understand it. And the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the most serious thing that Allah prohibited us from is Shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, Allah does not forgive that a person associates partner with him, but or partners with him. But he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. So the person who dies upon shirk, which is the opposite of Tawheed, is one of the khasirun and will be of those who reside in the hellfire forever. This is the 
seed of Ahlus Sunnah. So therefore, when we have someone, we have individuals who now we've reached the year of 2015, who claim that discussing Tawheed is perhaps a waste of time or a distraction or something that divides the Ummah or that Tawheed and Aqidah can be taught and understood within five minutes or within a matter of weeks or a month to be sufficient, sufficient then you have to question the Aqidah of an individual like this. You have to question the Aqidah of an individual like this because they go against the Jamhur of the Ulama. In fact, we don't say the Jamhur of the Ulama. We say all of the Ulama. Who from Ahl al preceded you with this? Somebody from the Mu'tabirin. Those people who should be even considered or listened to. And who from Ahl sunnah would make such an outrageous and outlandish claim? So, Habit Fillah, beware of the Du'at. Those people who call to the gates of hellfire. Because if you're not calling the Tawheed, if you're not calling to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what are you calling to? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.